A 12-year-old boy is adjusting to life in a wheelchair after he was shot in October. Now, with a suspect behind bars, his mother is ready to share his story. WCI 3's Scarlett O'Hara spoke with her today and joins us. Scarlett, tell us more about the victim. This is Lamondre Davis. Like a lot of boys his age, he loves to play basketball. But a bullet took that away from him. His mother hopes to find peace in the suspect's arrest, but mostly she can't wait for the day her son can get back on the court. LaShondra Davis still finds it hard to talk about October 19th. It was a shock. I will say that. Her 12-year-old son, LaMondre, was shot while riding in a car with an older family member in Champaign. Wrong place, wrong time, I don't know. Police say that family member noticed a car was following them and got behind it to try and see who the driver was. That's when officers say the suspect stopped, pulled out a gun, and fired. It, it had to be random. I mean, my son, he's not out here, you know, in the streets or anything of that nature. He's a straight-A student. For months, Davis has been piecing together the story of that night, and she says she's still trying to fill in some blanks. They're ducking and dodging bullets. Nobody could see, you know, who it was. Until now, U.S. Marshals arrested 28-year-old Jamonte Hill at his home, where officers also found a handgun on his bed and a separate magazine. Loaded with 11 rounds of ammunition, which had been wrapped in a black ski mask. A digital scale, $9,000 of U.S. currency. Plus $7,000 hidden in a bed frame and traces of suspected drugs. That landed Hill in court for two separate cases, an armed habitual criminal charge and the attempted murder of LaMondre Davis. Um, it is not probationable. It's a mandatory prison crime. LaShondra Davis says being able to put a face to the crime eases some of her pain. I'm not sure if I feel as if justice has been served, you know, but I'm just grateful that, you know, someone was held accountable for what happened to him. She's also thankful watching her son return to normal life. It's good to see, you know, when he smiles and, you know, he's laughing and joking, you know, he's back to his old self. But some things are different. She says LaMondre suffered a spinal cord injury and only recently got out of the hospital. Um, going from a child that was physically active um, to now with him um, having to roll around in a wheelchair. She's looking forward to cheering him on in his favorite sport eventually. One day he'll be able to play again, but now with his injuries, that's not possible at the moment. Davis says she'll be forever grateful for everyone in the community who reached out to wanting to help. If you'd like to support the Davis family, you can find those details on our website. Jessica. Scarlett, thank you. The judge set Jamonte Hill's bond at a million dollars in each case for a total of two million. Both of Hill's charges are class X felonies. If convicted of the armed habitual criminal charge, he faces up to 30 years in prison. For attempted murder, the judge says he could get up to 55 years.